Okay guys, so I'm going to show you today how to download your virtual tour. You will have received an email that looks um, similar to this, obviously with um, your property address up here at the top. What you're going to want to click on is your branded virtual tour link. Go ahead and hit that. And it's going to play your tour. Okay, so when that all looks good. You're going to come all the way to the far left over here to Tools, and you're looking for this middle icon here. It'll say Save Tour to Desktop. Um, you'll notice right here it says Creating Archive. You only want to do this for archive purposes or if you're transferring to a DVD. That's also a good reason. Um, you can't really put this on a website unless you have a web developer who knows what they're doing. So you're going to get this little pop-up here. Um, with a save file, make sure you have it on save. You're going to click OK. Now I have um, my settings on my computer so that it asks me where I want to save a file each time. So I'm going to go to desktop. And save that. Now um, regardless, even if yours um, started saving immediately before asking you where it wanted to save, it's still going to come up here to your download. So you'll click on this little file right here, and you're going to, if it's not already on your desktop, you'll take the file and you'll drag and drop it onto your desktop. Okay, so now I'm going to come over to my desktop, and you'll right-click on it and go down to Extract All. And you do this because it's a zip file. And you make sure you're on desktop when, you, um, when you're selecting a new destination you'll click extract. You're going to now have a save to desktop file. This is what that's going to look like. You're going to double click on that and the one you want to play the full screen tour is going to be Fusion Slim Player. When you double click on that it'll bring your tour back. I'll be right there. Your tour will play like normal. Um, even though this is the only one you actually want, you need to keep all of these other files together. So if you're transferring to a DVD, make sure that you just copy this whole save to desktop there. Otherwise it won't play. They rely on each and every file and folder on there, so you'll need to transfer that whole folder. Alright, thanks guys!